Buffer! Kaya ko to. Yung ate ko yung iyakin, hindi ako. Anyway. <clears throat> Welcome back to our channel and thank you for joining us today. I am Maan from Comedy Room and I'll be sharing with you a day in my life. Hindi ko matandaan kung anong alphabet siya or acronym. But mid-pandemic when the lockdown was sort of lifted ng konti, I moved here in my new space. Before, the condo that I was renting was way, way smaller and medyo legit yung cabin fever. But no, this is not a condo tour, guys. I work as a copy-based creative in DDB Manila. What we do is that we work closely with our clients and we help them solve their business problems with our creative ideas. Wow, it's fun. <laughs> it's challenging, but it's fun. I start my day usually really, really early, as in super early. Tita levels early. By 7, I'm already up. It's quiet before the day gets crazy. Tahimik pa yung mundo. I actually get some time for myself. During this time, I actually write in my journal as regular as I can. In the morning, I usually meditate. I do yoga or circuit from home. I feel more balanced when I wake up in the morning and do these things before work because like my day-to-day -day takes a lot of my time and doing this in the morning for myself gives me that sense of accomplishment na may nagawa na ako para sa sarili ko. <laughs> Hindi lahat ng oras ko nakatoon lang sa trabaho. And from there, medyo hyperdrive na ako. The days are the same but they're actually not. I go on meetings uh, for briefings. Presentations that sometimes stretch two to three hours, depending sa client. In between, si singit ka ng adult things to. Paglalaba, paghuhugas, pagbabacuum, <laughs> paggrocery, pagdedefrost ng ref. I make myself coffee. Yun yung pinaha break time ko for myself. Then I work again, and then I shift gears na to other things if kaya ng schedule ko. Pamisan misa na hakasingit ako sa common room meetings with Luis and Marky. Pero most of the time, actually, si Adro mana lang yun. Eh. Um, every once in a while, I go on virtual consultations as well for or pulse checks for make space, and then I go back to my agency work, and that usually takes up most of my day. From magugulit na lang ako gabi na, madilim na. Sometimes I forget. To eat, that's bad. I make time to catch up on my backlog of books, guys. Sobra dami yung libro jan na hindi pa nababasa. Wag kayo masadu mo, dami yung books. Nayo pa na niya tapos, okay? And of course, I don't forget about my green babies. Don't ask me kung ganon sila kadami. And no, hindi ito plant tour, guys. It's not today. And then more adulting. This is the funnest. Day in a life ever. Nakakauwi ako to Antipolo to see my family and to spend time with our fat beagles, Jessie and Hachi. And of course, to spend time and help out also with common room errands, yung mga stuff that we need to do in the studio since we're setting that up. So this is my day. It was quite a challenge living on your own, especially like the first three months. Talaga ako lang mag-iside. Ako lang yung kasama ko with all my nagging thoughts and yung mga bosses sa ulo ko. After eight months of being locked in at home, you get the feeling that you're just stuck in a loop and you want to get out of it, but you know you can't. You don't have a choice. At some point, it can get to you. And siguro you guys feel the same way too. Like, we share this collective anxiety and we try to cope the best way we can. Now, while things may seem like they're repetitive, paulit-ulit, and parang naka-endless loop tayo, the constancy and the repetition allows you to reflect on your life and observe the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Kasi paulit-ulit siya eh. Para wala kang choice at some point, kailangan mong kilatisan din yung ginagawa mo day in and day out. You ask yourself, how can I do things better today? How can I be better today? They don't have to be big. Time allows you to do that. You can make tiny changes in your life, pakonte konte on a day to day basis. Kait 1% better, you're 1% happier, you're 1% more at peace, you're 1% less insecure, you're 1% more patient. It gives you that opportunity to 
try to do better. Kahit naman walang lockdown, mahirap magbago. But I guess because I'm mostly by myself, you have to like your own company. I mean, you should be able to hang out yourself and enjoy the person you're with. Because I'm just stuck with myself. And if I don't like myself, if I don't like the person that I'm turning out to be, then why, di ba? Mahirap. Hirap. Now, miyak. Ha uh -huh. Yes. Ikaw lang mag-isa. If hindi mo alagaan yung sarili mo, sinong gagawa noon para sa'yo? Ikaw lang. So, panindigan mo yung sarili mo. You have to take care of yourself. These are the tips that I have. So, you'll be able to be more mindful on how you take care of yourself. If you have other suggestions as well on how to stay sane and to take care of yourself while you're in lockdown, please comment below. We really like to have this um, conversation and dialogue with you guys. First tip to stay sane while you're in lockdown is to actually set boundaries. Yes, I try to be mindful in setting boundaries, especially now since everything is blurred. There's no such thing as work and life balance because parang nag collide lang sila into your space and everything is happening at the same time while the world outside is going crazy as well. The cardinal rule ko is that I never bring work upstairs. Upstairs, my room is at my zen place. Downstairs here, I'm more flexible. But this is my workstation, talaga. The couch, sometimes I work here, but most of the time, this is where I just rest or read or watch movies also. As much as possible, I try not to bring work here. But in the moment I sit down to the dining table, rest mode and shop. You have to set those boundaries. If not, work will just invade every part of your life. You don't want that. Next tip is rest as hard as you work. Enough said. Yes, may hirap siya gawin, guys. Lalo na if you love your job, if you're really passionate about it, it's really hard. Boundaries, again, you have to carve out time and energy and space for you to rest because you won't be able to perform at your best also. When you're not rested, you're just gonna burn out and you're just gonna be tired. So rest as hard as you work. The third tip, this is not a productivity race. Yes, no, it's not a competition kung gano ka naging ka productive this year while we're in lockdown. People have different ways of coping. Some some resort to plants. Yes, some resort to hoarding books and some just chill. And that's okay. It's not a competition. It's not a race kung sino may yung pinakamaraming nagawa this year. I guess at the end of the day, getting through your day is already a win. So, stop. It's not a race. It's not a competition. Try to cope the best way that you can. And that's good enough. Yeah. Okay, let's torture our sarili. Natin. Yes. Mahirap na life. And with that, my fourth tip is. Hold on to the things that give you joy. Yes, very Marie Kondo yung vibe niya. But no matter how small or mundane it is, if it brings you happiness, hold on to dear life! Yes! When I'm stressed, I always ask them, please send photos of our dogs. <laughs> of Jessie and Hachi. Because I know that instantly I'll be happy because they'll be doing derpy dog things. And that's an instant endorphin rush for me. So it's small, it's mundane in the bigger scheme of things, but I know it gives me happiness, so I do that. Of course, um, every once in a while, I catch up with my friends. Yes, napalaro ako ng Among Us! Yes! And of course, my plants. So kung ano man yun, whatever your happy pill is, make sure you take it kasi kailangan natin yan in this time. You have to be responsible for your own happiness. Ang deep, but no ako yung sa bojang. And lastly, guys, be kind to yourself. Yes, matatapos na 2020, guys. And I'm sure you have a lot of unresolved resolutions na hindi yun nagawa. And it's so easy to blame yourself or just be sad, kasi and dami mong unfulfilled plans for 2020. Try to give yourself 
a break, don't be too hard on yourself. Uf, hindi ito free pass, guys. Ha? If you're really slacking off, and then yes, you have to whip yourself up. It doesn't mean a oh, I have to be kind to myself. No, that's not it. Being kind to yourself also means you're having accountability for all your weaknesses. You have to work on it. But when you're working on it, you fall off the wagon every now and then. Na parang you don't get to stick to your diet or you miss a day of your workout or a week. Hi, <laughs> Kuchala. You just have to try again. But so you're trying, I think that's already a win. So don't punish yourself too much as long as you're trying your best to be better. You know, my hope is you guys. <laughs> Kaya natin to. As I record this, it's Sunday. It's November 22. It's been 8 months since the lockdown. It's only 33 days, guys, until Christmas. 34 for my birthday. Yes, I'm turning 38. Blank. Beep. <laughs> yes, you can say goodbye to 2020. And I know that it's been tough for everyone. I mean, I can't imagine how hard it is for other people right now. Especially with the recent calamities. <laughs> but I hope you hang on. Anyway, it's been a tough year for everyone. But I hope, guys, kapit lang tayo. We always say kapit lang. So, yes, guys, konti na lang, konti na lang. We're inching our way out of 2020. It's another lockdown day for you. Paulit ulit na naman siya. But I hope you can find something good today and make it a little better. For you. So that's it. Thank you again for being part of Common Room's journey. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We also have a Patreon account where we have craft challenges, business tips, and you know freebies for all of our patrons. So thank you for joining that community as well. We hope to see you again next week for our next episode. So thanks guys! Bye! Salamat!